Hi, this is Yasser Ali and today I am here with a new lecture of uh, Bootstrap 4. This lecture is intended for absolute beginners who do not have even a bit how to of uh, Bootstrap. Uh, so we are starting uh, from Bootstrap 4 for the beginners. If you are already, uh, if you do have a good how to of uh, Bootstrap 3, then you should in fact better uh, follow this tutorial series right after uh, the basic few videos so you can skip in fact these sort of videos if you are if you have already uh, bootstrap knowledge so uh, what actually is uh, the bootstrap and what are the benefits of using bootstrap obviously we have covered the core benefits that are it's a mobile first it's a responsive and then we have so many different uh, built-in classes in bootstrap uh, that we can use in fact to save our time and uh, that we can uh, have a very good look of uh, the elements and components that we normally uh, have to style uh, in other case in case of uh, the customized designs in HTML so let's begin what are the actual uh, different components of CSS in bootstrap that are uh, already pre-made available so in order to check the existing components of bootstrap 4 just check or uh, select the version that you want to work with like uh, i want to work uh, with 4.0 so after clicking it you can in fact uh, you would be redirected on this page as we have seen this page already uh, for installation of bootstrap and just go to the layouts content and components so uh, on clicking of these components uh, option from this side menu you can uh, have have these uh, built-in components of all bootstrap starting from alerts badges and then so many different icons so we will be uh, using a few of the different options are uh, components of CSS just to let you know uh, how can we actually uh, start using this so let's suppose we uh, want to have uh, like uh, buttons uh, in the bootstrap what can we do uh, this is uh, the variety of uh, buttons actually that is available for us they are pre uh, designed they are pre made the only thing that we can use uh, that we can do to use these buttons in our code is uh, we just copy this single line of code from here and make sure to read the class of uh, the bootstrap that is uh, that is already there btn btn primary and then btn btn secondary and btn primary class for button and then btn success so let's copy this class and uh, paste it ok, include the bracket ending bracket 2 copy this one and paste it over here inside this one just go and check the output for this okay this is actually the button that you have successfully included in it so you don't need to style much uh, for these sort of things the styles are already there inside the bootstrap.css and uh, let me give you a few more examples by in fact including or copying it uh, this info button and uh, pasting it just below the previous to have the uh, output of this so in this way in fact you can use the existing pre-made components of bootstrap so this was the example of uh, button uh, you have the variety of different uh, options in fact you can use these this kind of button in just uh, by copying this single line just note down uh, the change in the classes let's like suppose btn btn is the same and is common in all the different classes the, the only thing which changes is uh, something which is written up after this btn outline primary outline secondary are outline success and outline danger so just test this one as well just copy this from that and paste it over here so in this way in fact we can uh, develop our whole website very quickly comparative to the using customized design in HTML and CSS so similarly there there is a huge variety of buttons that you can use in your on design so keep on in fact scrolling down uh, to find more so let's suppose we are having uh, after these buttons we want to have the error message or the success message or the warning message so we have these variety of uh, uh, different options uh, for the messages or for the alerts to be shown on the page so you can in fact copy any of these and make sure to uh, have the note the class names again uh, it's alert which is the main class and then alert danger alert warning alert info so you can in fact copy this whole snippet and paste it again in your browser to have its effect on the output screen 
So this is what actually we can in fact shrink it, we can expand it, we can uh, reduce its width uh, uh, to limit it inside the another component or inside the another container that is something which we will uh, look later. So right now we are only here to check the different options that are available are different pre-made components that are available inside the bootstrap. So if we want to have a look like that then we can just copy this snippet from here and uh, let me remove the existing snippets to in fact let you have a new look okay so this is what actually which has been uh, already designed in bootstrap classes for us uh, again if you want the alert uh, while having a dismiss option a dismissing option with it so we can have this one uh, the only thing we need to do is to copy this snippet or just click on this copy to clipboard button for copying it and paste it again in your own code so again we are having now this again same alert box but with additional option to uh, close this if i refresh it it would come back and if i close it it would close so, so the bootstrap uh, works behind the scene actually which uh, you don't need to look at and we, you don't need to work at uh, and uh, it is powered by jquery as well and uh, so in a same fashion in fact you can customize these alerts you can customize the design you can customize the functionality and behavior of all these things and there are different methods and events available to do that so again next uh, we are having the carousel and uh, what actually the carousel is you can in fact read this whole documentation and uh, we uh, need to have a sample to be included in our project for the demonstration so if we uh, and if you want to have this kind of slider in your website you don't need to learn the complex jquery and java uh, javascript for its implementation you only need this uh, code snippet and we'll just go here and copy to clipboard and just paste it over here in your own website so again this is the demonstration for the beginners in fact to let them uh, know what uh, actually the bootstrap can do and why it is strong uh, again you can in look at over here we we have achieved the behavior of this slider but since we did not include it did we not include the images that are required over here and in this source tag one two and three and we can add the images over here in this source tag and we can directly um, add the path of the image that we will save in somewhere here over uh, in the folder and uh, after addition of images those images would display over here in the form of slider so again uh, next component there is a huge variety and this is the slider with the indicators at the bottom again this is the slider with the caption at the bottom and and the indicator as well and uh, there are different uh, javascript methods as well as um, events to customize this behavior of this carousel uh, again the next element is uh, collapse that in fact uh, there is a requirement for the lots of the user to include the functionality like that in fact with the click of the button you can reveal the text or the portion of the uh, um, uh, the other element HTML element and one more interesting thing that is my favorite is accordion look um, often you might have seen um, the facts or FAQs uh, portion on uh, many of the websites uh, with the question written over here and answer uh, is revealed on clicking of this question this uh, the FAQs uh, page can be made with this kind of approach so if I want to use this accordion like uh, component so just copy this snippet which is given at the bottom and paste it somewhere on your website wherever it is required to have uh, this incorporated in your website so these are the interesting components there are tons of other components that are actually uh, pre-built for you on this website you can check each of these the only thing that you have to do is uh, you you have to take care of is uh, setting up the environment correctly without making any error and then in fact you can copy all the components from the official get bootstrap 4.0 website and uh, you can paste it over here in your own project so the thing that we will be covering in the upcoming lectures is we will be using all these components pre-made pre-built components intelligently uh, in our own 
designs to make them look professional so uh, this is what actually we had uh, for this lecture to make the beginners familiar that what actually the bootstrap can do for us for the beginners and how easy it has become for the uh, for the new users to, to start using bootstrap so thank you very much and uh, if you really like this video please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon along with it as well so we'll see you in the next lecture till then bye bye then bye bye